Where to sleep with great view in Panwa. Hello, welcome to Where to Phuket. Uh, here I am at Cape Panwa Hotel in Panwa area. Uh, when you choose to stay in this area, uh, most likely a priority is to be uh, near the sea and to have a great view of the sea. And this hotel is special because uh, when you see uh, most other hotels, you either have the view on the high level, but a bit distant from the from the beach or you'll be by the beach but then you have the view of the ground level but this hotel have both as you can see now I am enjoying this view from a high level uh, and then I can also go down and be uh, by the beach so it's special and this hotel is quite uh, a legend it's already almost 30 years old but it's still uh, very popular and still well maintained and doesn't look dated so I think it's a, one of the great choices uh, to stay in Panwa. Now I'm going to take you to a tour. Um, there are three main areas that I like to show you apart from the room. Uh, first is this uh, terrace which you can see a very nice view and the sun is about to set. Uh, it's beautiful. The second place is the pier. Uh, down there that you can walk out and look back to the hotel and the third place is probably the most uh, highlight is the uh, Panwa house which is a restaurant but it's, uh, it's like an old traditional house by the sea it's so nice and the, uh, to get there is also part of the fun because you can take uh, like a funicular to get down there so uh, if you are interested in all that I've said, then please continue to watch until the end. Tonight, I stay at the room F305, which is a superior type. Let's see how good it is. Nice big bed, TV here, let's look at the view. Wow! We see the curve of the sea and there's a nice place to sit to enjoy the view. I think if it's not too hot, I can be here for like hours. This is the lobby area. It looks very nice. Let's get closer. You can see that there are lots of fish all around here. Um, this decoration, it doesn't seem to try to get your attention. It looks rather subtle but it's beautiful with the light and it's all made of uh, rattan which is uh, you know making use of the local stuff hmm. from the lobby area let's go to a swimming pool it's a swimming pool with sea view Here's a second spot to see the view. It's the pier and the entrance is here. Let's go. There's a very nice view of the sea Panwa from here. At this moment, it's the best hour of the day. Uh, the wind is quite
quite cool. The light, the sunlight is soft enough and it's about to turn gold soon. So, and it's also very quiet. I think it's a very good spot to uh, feel the sunset even though we don't really see it because it's just right behind the hotel. But look at the color, it's so nice. Is this tempting enough for you? We haven't got to the most highlight of this hotel yet, which is just right over there. And I hope to see it with a great light tomorrow morning. Over there is a Padua house, which is a restaurant in an old house by the sea. Uh, from here, it's quite nice. I like to have it picture here until dark and then tomorrow we'll go there. So please stay tuned. Good morning, it's time for breakfast. Apart from the good selections they have, uh, this place it has another advantage is that uh, both sides you can see the view of the sea. On this side is like a wide with some islands. On this side you will see the swimming pool and also the Si Panwa uh, Hotel in the background. So you can choose whichever that you like. Now I'm going to enjoy my meal. Bon appétit. Now let's go to see Panwa House. You might have heard uh, that it's not the destination but the journey. But for this case, I think it's both because uh, the destination, the house is beautiful. But another important thing is that how to get there. This hotel, they have a gimmick because we would go by Funicula. Let's have a look. So here is the starting point of the tram service that would go to the beach and then we walk a little bit to Panwa House. So uh, please notice the service hours. From this part on, it would be like a POV style. As mentioned earlier, the journey is part of the fun. Riding a funicular is a good experience as I haven't seen other funicular in Phuket yet. Even though it's not difficult to walk down, but why not benefit from this luxury? From the station, turn right to walk along the beach. You'll pass the bamboo bar and you may want to stop for a drink. And here it is, Panwa House. It's an old Shino Portuguese house that's still in perfect condition. For the Shino Portuguese part, it doesn't look quite like those old mansions in Phuket town with the shape, the window decoration and so on. But I'm not in a position to comment on this. Anyway, it's certainly absolutely beautiful. It's even more stunning if you come during the late afternoon followed by the sunset time because of the light. And you should have dinner here as well. They serve good food, but of course the view definitely steals the show. We had dinner here too and we enjoyed it. It's a bit pricey as you would imagine, but if this kind of setting is not worth the premium price, then what is? Now it's time for the conclusion. There are three things I like, two things I miss, and one thing worth mentioning. Uh, what I like number one is the view. This hotel has several viewpoints that you can enjoy the scenery, uh, as I've taken you to uh, three viewpoints and also there's one in the room. So it's, it's great to have uh, several spots with different angles. Uh, the Panwa house is definitely the, the main highlight but personally I like the pier more um, because the Panwa house is usually everybody wants to get there to be there but the pier is less exposed but I find it more charming over there so that's my personal preference uh, second thing is that this hotel because the site is is big it has a wide uh, private beach 
so uh, you can really enjoy it uh, without other people uh, coming in disturbing and it's big enough that even when it's full it may not be overcrowded the third is the decoration of the hotel uh, it try to blend in with the nature with all the things that they use and they try not to overly do it to make a to create a lot of photo spots. So I think they have this kind of uh, low profile feeling uh, to this uh, place. So that's I like. Now two things I miss. Number one is the Wi-Fi is rather weak. Maybe it's because I stay almost at the one end of the hotel, which is the zone uh, F. Uh, because the hotel, when it's like this, the lobby in the middle, I stay in the <laughs> that end so that could be one reason uh, nowadays uh, wi-fi is so important so uh, it's probably hard especially if you have three or four tools uh, or gadgets uh, the second thing i miss is that in the bathroom even though it's very good um, i miss the the hook you see there's a, a Real that you can put your towel on, but there's no place uh, to put on the clothes or the dress. So uh, we just have to find somewhere and put it. Uh, it's a little thing, but it's just that. What? Why? It's not there. Uh, yeah. And the thing worth mentioning is that because this hotel is located, um, well, from the ground level to the hill. So it has a lot of, uh, because of the size, it's big, so a lot of walking and also like steps. Uh, if you come with uh, elderly persons who cannot walk very well or comes with a wheelchair, that might be an issue. You may need to find a room very close to the entrance or the lobby area to avoid uh, a lot of walking. But that would also mean you would miss some of the great view that is further away. Uh, so that's thing you need to know. I hope you find this clip useful and if so, please click like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.